So one for you have been bombarded by the YouTube crew. What's Again. Up? Again. How you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, good, good. good. You don't remember us anymore? I, I, not at all. You know, you're kind of famous now. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. How many How many people contact you and say, hey, I saw you on YouTube? Uh, quite a few. A lot of people uh, at this show come in and say, I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, and I'm like, those wow. are our friends. Yes. We know yeah. those guys. And we want to see, We I know we can't take it anymore, but can somebody from Ox go to the Intrepid booth and start it up so they can see it? Maybe. They they told they told me to come from Intrepid over here. Okay. Let so make see. it happen. Look, we've been walking for like two hours. Two hours. Yeah, just to get this done. Okay. Let's get it done. Three hours, guys. Three, three and a half. All right. And last time we gave you guys ice cream, so anybody gives you ice cream, we owe you, right? You there's. And it was the best ice cream. What was it, McDonald's? Was <laughs> it? But it felt like kind of like uh. Was that uh, Avengers, the Avengers movie at the end? Mm -hmm. The end credits when they're all of them are having ice cream? Something like that. Something. It felt great. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Covering the Boat Show with Alias. And we have Andreas right here. We did a video about a ox diesel engine that got over half a million views. And I said, let's go back there. Let's talk to them again because now they have a twin set up. Hey everybody, Andreas. I'm here from Sweden from the manufacturer of the, uh, of the ox product. So you know everything about diesel? I know everything about it, at least the technical side I'm oh, trying so to put you're, to you're the perfect questions. person to ask, why diesel over gas? Well, there's, there's many reasons. One is this, uh, the Intrepid we're going to look at later on. It's a uh, super yacht tender. Super yacht tenders, they don't like carrying gasoline on board. They can use the uh, commonality of the fuel with the mothership. Uh, so, uh, otherwise, it's uh, a lot of the commercial customers, they're looking for the fuel, uh, fuel consumption savings, which is massive, especially running a couple thousand hours a year. Uh, diesels are the reliable option to, to gasoline motors that have been around for a long time. So, it's basically a commercial product instead of a leisure product. Hi, people complain about the noise. Oh, yeah. I didn't find it to be noisier than a gas but some people said that it was noisier. Uh, is there any truth to that? Is it, is, is, is it more like more loud than a gas engine of the same? Well, noise is, uh, is kind of uh, different from person to person. You can have a decibel meter, and if you take a decibel meter, it will show you that it's about the same noise level as any gasoline motor. But I agree that when you're running at idle, it, it's got a little bit more of a diesel tick than a gasoline motor, but that's fine, it's to be expected. But when you're running, uh, cruising a wide open throttle from, from the help station, it's it's the same or less noise than, than a gas outboard. Now, the other complaint I saw is people talking about being heavier, maybe 200 pounds heavier. Yeah. And also money-wise, like it's a lot more money for a diesel engine compared to a gas engine. Well, it Can is. you go into that, like what? what it is a commercial case? product, and to build a, a diesel outboard 20 years ago wouldn't be possible because it would weigh twice as much as this. Diesel engines have become more compact, more higher power density over the years. Uh, it is more heavy than than a uh, comparable gas motor. Uh, but it's also a commercial product. In commercial products, you have a massive gearbox that adds weight to it. You have a closed cooling system that adds weight to it. Uh, so both from a from weight standpoint, it is uh, slightly more heavy. It is slightly more expensive than a gas motor, but it is a commercial product. And if you're a commercial user, you'll, you'll get payback in somewhere between 3 and 12 months, depending on how much you use it anyway. All right, now, now you got a twin engine set up, two of them, right? right. And I want to see how they sound. And can you tell me what would be the benefit of having two instead of one? Well, twin engines, is, uh, it's uh, safety, stability when you're running it. You have uh, different ways of, uh, of being able to uh, maneuver with twin engines. One in forward and one in reverse to be able to maneuver in a completely different way. Uh, but a lot of cases it, it is because you need more power. You can't get, some of these boats here have got 2,000 horsepower outboard on them. But you have to put five or six on the back because you can't buy one massive outboard on it. But you got more torque with diesel, yeah, yeah, so you don't need... With diesel. So, uh, so normally it's, uh, the, uh, the maneuverability with twin engines is completely different to a single engine. Alright, awesome. So let's go check it out because I want to see, I want to hear how it sounds. I'm, I'm excited for that. You also said that it'll last three, four, maybe five, 